That's good. You're good here? Hey, Matt. Hey, guys. How are you? I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, you know. It's uh, it's nice. You know, last spring I wasn't wasn't going full speed or at all. I was in the pit over there. It's nice to be out here, you know, throwing with the guys. Yeah, how are the quarterbacks acclimating? You guys uh, look like you're throwing the ball well. Yeah, I think we are. You know, everybody, uh, it was it was a different, uh, you know, we had a QB battle last year with Dwayne, Joe, and Tate. Yep. Uh, really Dwayne and Joe. And so it's a different thing. You know, those were more veteran guys. And we've got a younger group now. Um, you know, I'm technically the most veteran guy. At least I've been here the longest. I don't stay. I know Chris is older, but uh, it's a different dynamic than last, last year. But it's still a battle. Right? It is, I mean, yeah. yeah everybody, everybody wants to start. Right? For sure, yeah. I mean, the best player is going to play. I mean, they're going to play the best player. And when Justin transferred in, your thought was? Well, uh, you know, I've never been afraid of competition. You know, I know that uh, he's got a lot of, I'd say, hype around him, but he's lived up to it. You know, everything I've seen about him throwing with him you know, before spring started and even in spring, he, he's living up to it. Yeah. He's a great player. You know, it's awesome to be able to compete against a guy like that, you know, kind of measure up. Uh, but it's it's been great. You run the quarterback room now? Is the old guy in there? Is that how uh, it works? I wouldn't say that, you know. Joe kind of had that effect last year. You know, he was a funny guy, kind of kept it light. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't say I run it. We, we're all, like, equal. Yeah. Who throws the better ball? Uh, I'm not going to say anything. That's up to you guys. You had some nice throws today. How do you feel like, at least when we were out there, you were throwing some really good balls. How do you feel like you performed today? Uh, I felt good, you know. Uh, I like, you know, I think I perform best is when, you know, we're into it, we're, we're either in team or seven on seven when it's competitive, you know, and I'm not thinking too much. Sometimes when I get out there and I think too much, you know, I can, you know, like, you know, like overstride or not, you know, not throw, just let it loose. And so I like it when we're into it and I, I play better. Then. You mentioned last spring how, how you had to sit out because of the ACL. When did you, when mm -hmm. were you finally 100%? Was it like during, somewhere, like somewhere during the season itself? Mm -hmm. It was probably about like six or seven games into the season that I felt 100%. I could have played earlier, I think. Coach Day was in like the fourth game, I think it was Tulane. He said I probably could have played in that game, but I wasn't 100%. Are you sensing this will probably go into fall camp? Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's not for me to, you know, say or know, but um, yeah. yeah. Garrett Wilson had some really nice things to say about you. Just, you know, if you mm -hmm. can speak more about your relationship with Garrett, and that's got to be nice to have someone from uh, you know, your mm -hmm. top receiver from high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. You know, I, every time I see him out there, I'm cheering for him. You know, obviously you guys have seen him out there too. He's, he's making a name for himself already. Uh, I'm trying to get him, you know, last year we had only one early and really get their stripe off. It was Tommy. I'm trying to get Garrett to be the one guy this year who gets it off in the spring. You know, it's really hard to do. But uh, he started off on a really good foot. Matthew, when you, when you come to a program, do you project at all what the quarterback situation might look like for the next, you know, two or three years, and then mm -hmm. when it changes pretty drastically the way this one did after after one year here, like, how do you process all that? Yeah, well, you know, that's part of you know making your decision. I think is that if you're going to have a chance to compete and play, and uh, you know, that's something I definitely thought I had when I was coming in here. And uh, you're, you're right, it is a different thing when they bring in guys, but you know. I, every coach is going to do that. If there's a chance to get a really good player, they're going to go out and get him. And so, um, you know, that's just something that you have to accept and move forward. He, but Justin, I mean, most people would assume that, that Justin came here because he thinks he has a chance to start. Mm -hmm. I think most people on the outside would assume that he would be the starter. Mm -hmm. I know you don't assume that, but I don't know. Do you, do you take it personally at all? Does it, is it uh, when, when they essentially recruit a guy to come in over you, yeah. for lack of a better word. Well, I mean, you know, he probably went to Georgia with that same mindset. He's yeah. going to come in and start, and Jake Fromm held him off. And so, uh, uh, you know, you know, he has his strengths and his weaknesses. I have my strengths and weaknesses. I'm just I'm glad I get to compete against that guy like that. You know, no one wants to be handed things, I don't think. You don't feel like you earned it, and you're not going to be handed things here. So I never expected that coming in. Do you feel mm -hmm. like the equal chance to compete for the job because of the hype around him right yes, now? Yes, for sure. Well, Coach Day is the one who specifically came out and recruited me. You know, Ohio State was really my really first Division One, you know, big time offer. And so Coach Day found me, and he believes in me, you know, with all of his heart. And so um, I trust him. Did your mindset at all change when Fields came here? Instead of you, at first you thought it was going to be a competition with you and Tate, and all of a sudden it's you and your five-star recruit coming from another place. Did your mindset change at all? Uh, I think the uh, well, Tate was also a five-star, so I knew, you know. No matter what, you're going to be competing against someone good here, right? Uh, I think I was kind of chasing Tate. I think that was kind of my position, so I had a fire under me. And then now Tate leaves and Justin comes, so I guess he's kind of chasing me or we're kind of fighting each other. So it is different, but, you know, I, I think I have the same motivation.